Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to use PayPal Payments Advanced to accept online payments on your Wild Apricot site. Once you've integrated your PayPal account with your Wild Apricot site, visitors to your site can pay online for membership fees and event registrations and to make donations. When a visitor fills out a membership application form or event registration form and chooses to pay the invoice online, they will be redirected to a secure PayPal site where they can use their PayPal account or their credit or debit card to make the payment. After the payment is processed, the visitor is returned to the Invoices and Payments tab under Member Profile, where the invoice will appear along with a payment entry if the payment was successful. For security reasons, credit card information is not stored in Wild Apricot. Instead, PayPal receives and processes the payment details, then returns the status of the payment transaction, which is recorded in your transaction details. Before you can set up your Wild Apricot site to accept online payments using PayPal Payments Advanced, you must set up a business or premier PayPal account. Within your PayPal account, you must adjust a number of settings. For details, see Wild Apricot's online help. To begin integrating your PayPal Payments Advanced account with your Wild Apricot site, log in to Wild Apricot and go to Settings. Under Finances, click Payment Settings. On the Payment Settings screen, click the Edit button. Click the Payment System drop-down list and select PayPal Payments Advanced. If you want to begin accepting online payments immediately, click the Live Radio button. If you want to test your settings using test or sandbox accounts provided to you by your payment provider, click the test slash sandbox radio button. While in test mode, your payment provider will accept or decline your test transactions as it would live transactions, but will not charge any credit cards or update any bank accounts. Wild Apricot will, however, create payment records as it would with live transactions. In the user field, enter the ID of the user authorized to process transactions on your account. If you haven't set up additional users on the account, then enter your merchant ID. In the merchant ID field, enter the merchant login ID that you created when you registered for your PayPal account. In the partner field, enter the ID provided to you by the authorized PayPal reseller who registered you for PayPal Payments Advanced. If you purchased your account directly from PayPal, use PayPal. In the Password field, enter the password you created when you registered for your PayPal account. To make sure your account details are valid, click Validate Account. If the account validation fails, check to make sure you've entered the account details correctly. Now, click the Default Country drop-down list and select the country where the majority of your visitors reside. Your selection will appear as a default country to your customers. Next, select the currency you want to use in your transactions. You shouldn't change your currency after you've begun accepting online payments, since existing payment records will not be recalculated. In the Payment Instructions fields, Add payment instructions to be displayed to your customers. Finally, click Save Changes. Your Wild Apricot site can now begin accepting online payments through your PayPal account. A Pay Online button will appear after a visitor to your site clicks the Confirm and Proceed with Payment button while applying for membership or registering for an event. For more information, see Wild Apricot's online help or contact our support department. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.